Hi guys, welcome to the Call Java tutorial part 1. In the first part of this tutorial, I am going to explain how to uh, prepare your computer for compiling and running a Java code. Here is Prabish for taking this tutorial for you. For beginning Java development or for beginning the Java programming, uh, you need to download a package called Java Developing Kit, simply the JDK. So first upon you, first of all, you need to download JDK for your computer. For that, just open up Google and just type JDK. JDK download. You can see here is the first link called the oracle.com. Uh, this is the official website of Oracle. From this site, you will get an appropriate version of Java for your computer. So I go to this link. You can see here a lot of versions of Java is present for download. This is the JDK kit only. This is Java FX. This is JDK with NetBeans. This is the JDK with uh, Java EE package also. For learning core Java, you need only the JDK. So I'm going to download this JDK only. Before starting the download, uh, you can see there is a Oracle binary code license agreement for Java. So you have to accept that license agreement for downloading Java. You can see here also a lot of versions of Java uh, downloads are available here. Uh, based on this is based on uh, the operating system and uh, type of op operating system and versions of operating system you have. If you are running a Linux operating system, you have to download the Linux version. If you have a Mac operating system, you have to go for the Mac version. Uh, if you have a Solaris uh, or if you have a Windows version, uh, all the different platform versions are available here. Also, you need to check whether your operating system is 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, I am running a 64-bit operating system uh, of Windows. That's why I'm going to download this package. Here my uh, download is startup. After the successful download, you will get a icon like this. This is the uh, installer icon of JDK. Uh, the next step you need to install this JDK in your computer. I am not demonstrating the installation here. I am already installed JDK in my computer. Uh, if you are installing JDK for first time, uh, the installer will guide you for each of the steps for installing JDK. Click next, next and finally click finish. Uh, after you successfully install JDK in your computer, uh, just go to the uh, Windows directory. By default, the Windows directory is uh, in C drive. Just open up C drive and go to the program files. Uh, in program files, you can see a folder called Java is present here. Open up that folder. Uh, Sorry, there is this is a 64 bit operating system. So there are two types of two options are present here. Again, there is also another uh, program files are present here. Okay. Uh, just open up the program files. You can see a folder called Java is present here. My operating system is 64 bit. That's why there is two types of uh, there is two categories of operating system or um, or program files are present there. Uh, I just go to the 64 uh, 64 bit programs uh, program installation program files. Uh, here you can see a folder called Java is present here. Open up that folder. You can see. A two categories of icon sets are present here. Just one is the JDK and another one is JRE. JDK is nothing but the Java developing kit. Uh, just open up that folder. Uh, there is a folder called the bin. Open up that folder. You can see a lot of DLL files and uh, executable files are present here. These are these all files are the uh, needed uh, 
uh, file for the Java compiler. These are the files needed for your Java compiler for compiling your Java programs. Uh, you can see uh, another folder called the JRE is also present here. JRE is nothing but uh, Java runtime environment or simply the JVM. Uh, within that folder you can also see a folder called the bin folder is present here. Uh, you can also see a lot of DLL files are present in this folder. Uh, these are the files needed for uh, the JVM, Java Virtual Machine or simply the JRE to run your Java application. Okay guys, after doing all these steps, you are successfully installed Java in your computer. Uh, thank you for watching. In the next part, I am going to explain how to um, prepare, how to set up the variable uh, Java uh, environment variable in your computer. Okay guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next part.